Uh, this is going to be a really quick one. Uh, try to keep it brief. Um, there'll be some follow-ons, but uh, long weekend. I got to get some stuff set up for a little development environment. Going to be Postgres 14, um, and this is in support of Airflow and then some other work. So I figure, why not? I turn on the screen recorder and we'll set up Postgres 14 in a zone. Um, Going to use a package source zone on Omni OS. Uh, to get Postgres up and running. So I'll walk through the steps. Like I said, should be really brief. Uh, I'm going to use the zone administration tool, ZADM, that's now in OmniOS, which is fantastic. So give with no arguments, you get a list of your zones. Let's see what zones I have running here. Uh, and it'll allow the creation of various types of zones. So you see I have Beehive, Sparse, LX, um, zones, package source as well. So, first step is create the zone. Really simple process here. So we're doing ZADM create dash B, uh, and then the brand we want, package source, and then the name. We're prompted with our, whatever our editor is, um, our visual, and uh, I'm going to change a couple of these parameters in this JSON. We want auto boot to be true. Um, and I, uh, we'll, we'll keep with the global NIC. Uh, the global NIC just means when you instantiate the zone, it creates this uh, VNIC um, for you without you having to do so beforehand. Kind of a nice touch. We do need to add a couple, section, a couple uh, attributes to the uh, network section. Give it an allowed address. and a router. The only other parameter I'm going to change is because I run my zones in a different data set than the default zones. Change that. And we're done with the configuration here. So it's going to go build file systems and do everything else it needs to do uh, to get our Postgres zone up and running. Once it's booted, we'll log in, package in to install uh, Postgres, um, and that should do us. Um, so we'll sit around and wait for here. I'll give a little commentary. I've now, what has it been, two years running, maybe even longer, maybe three years running on this home server with OmniOS. It has been a joy and a pleasure. It's required no extra work. It's fantastic. Um, Illumos is wonderful. Uh, still question why it's not more widely adopted. Um, especially for things like this, where you can uh, build stuff up very quickly. So let me bring up my list of zones again. So we've got it installed, but it's not running. So we'll boot up the zone, and we'll log in and do our our activities in it. So now we have our running zone, brand, package. So I haven't done any limits on RAM or CPU here. Uh, this can be unlimited, but those can be changed later. And if we take a look at our VNIX, you see we didn't have to create this ourselves um, using the, the global NIC and our name NIC. Uh, the zone has created that for us. Log in. And we have our, our, our zone is up and running. Let's take a look at what packages we have from package source available for Postgres. So we are going to want PostgreSQL 14.
and nicely we have broken out some additional packages uh, that we may want. We almost certainly are going to want PL um, and Perl, but we'll see. Um, we'll actually want to get this guy, get the server. Um, but we get some other nice uh, packages, you know, PG top. There's some interesting stuff in Contrib, like uh, the, what do you call that, cross-tab function. Uh, we got uh, we got the client, we got some other stuff thrown in there, but this should be pretty quick. Uh, these zones uh, currently on my home server are going and sitting on, you know, traditional uh, hard drives, spinning hard drives. Um, need more performance. I do have an SSD pool. Uh, I could put these on, or especially for this database. And we'll see if if I end up with a lot of uh, I/O load. That might make an interesting topic: is is moving a zone um, from one pool to another. I don't know a couple ways to do that. Um, so. So Postgres is there um, in our services. Let's enable it. We're online. Let's go over to the Postgres user. Man, we've got our database up and running. Let's create a. Create a test database. Let's create a test table. And I'm forgetting important keywords. Hmm. Let's put some data in there. Just throw a million integers in there. Pretty quick. And there we have it. Um, so a couple things we may, I might want to take a look at uh, changing, and probably will, is the PostgreSQL conf. Um, and here are some important things we can change. Uh, some of those stuff we're going to change is in the HPA configuration. Um, but for instance, the listen address, I'm probably going to be throwing what's connecting here um, into a different zone. So we're going to want to connect over TCP. So listen addresses will have to change. Um, in fact, let's change that right now. Another one I tend to always change just because some of the stuff I'm going to be doing has some pretty big sorts and aggregates. So we're just going to change that guy to 64 megs. Those are kind of the the two changes I would do here. Um, we'll take a look at the host, best, host base authentication file. Um, and I'll make changes here once I know what my other machine is. Because I'm just internal on my own network, I'm probably going to set up some trust so that I don't need to enter passwords. Get out of root here.
make sure we can connect here. And we can go and connect from elsewhere on the network. So we are done. Um, so it's a pretty quick one. Um, probably soon going to come out with, or I'm going to, again, do a little screen record um, about Airflow, setting that up. So this Postgres is going to be not only the metadata database for uh, the Airflow instance, but also going to be doing some tests for some data pipelines. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, also, as a, uh, a tidbit, I may be getting rid of some classic gear. Uh, I got a Microvax and Microvax, yeah, Microvax and uh, you know 3100 um, and an Amiga 1000 uh, non-working Commodore Plus Four in box. Um, all those things are gonna have to go. Um, so. I may, I may put some more details on that when I figure out what I'm going to do with them. Uh, but like I say, that's it for now. Airflow's up next. Thanks for watching.